Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal bringing another video here from my home office. Recently, I've been putting a little bit of work into my YouTube channel, um, particularly revolving the production and the sound of it. So I used to do most of my videos using a pretty um, inexpensive USB lav mic. That was nice because I didn't really have to worry about uh, you know, having a big mic on a stand, but definitely the sound quality uh, wasn't there. So I decided to upgrade to a podcasting microphone. I firstly bought a USB podcasting mic and it sounds decent from, this is from my Ono, I've used it for a few videos. Um, but the microphone I ended up picking was when I was in the US last month was the Audio-Technica AT2020. This is an XLR microphone and uh, so I have to use it in conjunction with an audio interface when I'm using the Behringer Euphoria UM2, which is kind of seems to be the most popular uh, single microphone budget-friendly USB interface out there. I bought this many years ago and the combination seems to be working pretty well. I've listened back to a couple of my YouTube videos and I think the audio has improved. I do need to start using a pop filter because the P's and B's and plosives, plosives, plosives uh, definitely do come through. But the next step that I was looking at doing for this, uh, per, for improving the audio aspect of my production, and that's only, of course, one aspect I'm working on the lighting. A lot of stuff has to come together to make watchable YouTube content, and I'm working hard towards that goal. Um, but the next step in the audio department would probably have been putting down acoustic foam to try and get rid of the reverberation that is going to be pretty much inevitable in a room like the one I'm sitting in, which is basically probably not as big as it looks on video. It's about three by five big tall ceilings, uh, but pretty much just bare concrete walls which, with not much to blanket the sound. So um, the thing about this place is it's a rental um, and I don't really have any immediate plans or ability for that matter to purchase property. So I didn't want to invest in putting down a bunch of decent acoustic foam. Firstly would have been, I think, pretty inconvenient to have to take it down when removing, you wanna to get to size. It seemed like a more of a homeowner project for me, but it was something I wanted to get right. So I posted on Reddit, um, on I think maybe the YouTuber subreddit or somewhere like that, and I said there must be some product that is that that can sort of help out here that you know is going to be something you can maybe travel with or just a little thing that falls around uh, a microphone and lo and behold I found out about these products called isolation shields so the one I ended up going for it was I have it open here on my Amazon it's by a company called Aku Extra now I ordered this to Israel because it's a pretty heavy item so the uh, product selection versus in the US is a little bit different this was actually a small but more expensive than some of the other isolation shields I got this was $55 and there's a lot of $30 products on the market but what I liked about this besides the fact that it was it would ship to Israel for free because they have a forty nine dollar free shipping deal. I like the fact that it looked really really solid. So I've just gone ahead and built it. It came in the post today. Aku Extra Mic Shield. I'll put a, a little screen up of it now. Just to point out that I'm not doing affiliate Amazon affiliate stuff on this YouTube channel. So please trust that these are real uh, product recommendations. So let me let me go ahead now and show you guys the product. It's pretty chunky. Um, Aku Extra, and this is me, and I, you know, just to give you guys an idea about scale here. So um, it's got a nice little desk stand, and what I liked about this was that you have various options. If you just want to leave this and set it, have it set up on your desk, you can use the desk stand. The problem there, of course, is that you don't have a uh, telescopic height. I like the fact that it had a little pop filter uh, built into it, so you can just see from the side there's a little pop filter, and check out the uh the paneling here it's pretty nice it's metal and it feels really really solid as i hold it here it does you know i might need to tighten a few screws or maybe that's intentional it swings around a little bit but um i wanted to show you guys the before and after so i'm recording this with the as i mentioned the audio technica at2020 and now i'm going to go ahead and take this microphone down out of this microphone stand i'm going to put it into the um reverb or isolation booth it's basically a mini audio booth when you think about it and uh, let's see if uh, you guys and i can notice any improvement in the audio quality so let's go now and swap
Okay, so I've gone ahead and set up the Aku Extro on my desk and it's probably gonna start wiggling. I'm just gonna move it in a small bit now. This is a very strange feeling because I do kind of feel like I'm in a miniature room on my desk. So I've just listened back to a test recording I made and I have to say I was pretty pleased by the change in sound quality that I perceived. Uh, but you know, uh, you be the judge. So I'm gonna try saying some plosives. Hopefully the pop, 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 pop filter will be good. I can't even remember what I usually test for uh, plosive consonants with. The pig ate breakfast and then brunch. The pig ate breakfast and brunch. The pig ate breakfast and brunch. So you guys can firstly, uh, but uh, a pop filter, you don't need to have a little uh, portable isolation booth just to get a pop filter. So more importantly, how is the reverb reduction? You guys tell me. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm experimenting here. Firstly, the build quality on this is really, really good. I like the fact it's metal, it's screwed in. Another cool thing I read about the company, Aku Extro, <coughs> excuse me, is that they apparently are big into sustainability, which is something I've recently started working for a sustainability uh, nonprofit. So um, I'm getting into that area myself and therefore that is really awesome. Um, it does give a nice wide area. Now I'm gonna be curious to see what's going to happen as I move the foam in. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, the second thing is that um, this is the Audio-Technica AT2020, of course, same microphone. The pop filter does accommodate this microphone if you're looking perhaps at getting this exact combination of uh, pop filter and microphone, but it was really, really tight. So the pop filter could be a little bit bigger, uh, perhaps to accommodate even larger podcasting microphones than this. So one thing I, I did notice about this is that it does tend to lean. I don't know if this is com gonna come through in the video. It does lean towards me a little bit. So there's actually a little weight, there's this little um, switch here that you can kind of change the tilt of this part of the setup. Um, one tiny criticism, and I do, I do like this product so far, it did not come with any instructions, but there was a instruction video on the Amazon listing. So I always appreciate even a one page of printed instructions. So I was a bit worried that it didn't come with it. So yeah, this is it. Um, you know, in terms of doing a YouTube video, uh, you guys can see the, the the truth finally comes out about why I position my camera in this home office as I do because it's uh, it's so full of electronics back there. Um, but yeah, doing a YouTube video would look ridiculous with this, so it's not for that. This is for if you are doing podcasting or audio work. You know, perhaps you're an audiobook narrator, and like me, you rent, so therefore you or or you or it's, I'm, I'm sure I don't know how much it costs to soundproof a room i'd have to ask my friend ben who's a awesome audio engineer but i assume it's a lot more expensive than 50 dollars which is all this thing cost so i can see two reasons why people might want to get this one my situation you're a renter and you're you don't want to invest a ton in soundproofing a space you don't own reason two probably it's cheaper now the one thing i will say is this is pretty heavy it's but it's it's i mean i like that it feels sturdy with the thing but this was the reason I didn't buy this uh, product in the US and I brought it back here uh, to Israel because it would just have added too much weight to my luggage. Now, I want to finally do one thing. Um, I'd love to hear, by the way, if you, before and after, let me know what you thought about the reverb performance. I'm very interested to see if I kind of cloak myself all the way. Now it's really, really narrow here and I'm just gonna kind of, one thing that would be awesome in this product, I know I look completely ridiculous, would be if this thing telescoped because what I had to do was um, reduce the height of my office chair all the way down and I'm kind of sitting now uncomfortably low to my desk in order to get this at a height roughly the same as my as my mouth. You don't need to use the desktop stand and I'm opening the, bo the booth a little bit. You can put this on something like a scissor arm. That might be better. I'm gonna probably try that next. This is the newer scissor arm I'm using usually with this microphone. But anyway, I won't go on for much longer. I'd really be interested. And now I'm just holding it, wrapping it around, and it does feel quite satisfying. I'm in a little kind of audio cocoon. Please tell me what you think about the sound performance before and after. Has this reduced the reverb performance significantly? Rewind back through the video if you're really interested. Just hear me using the, this microphone in the open air. So that was the uh, sound performance of the reverb panel. As you guys can see, I'm back to using my microphone as I usually do on a simple scissor switch. The pop filter does fit better. Now, one, one uh, detail I didn't want to finish without adding is regarding storage, because if you are um, like me, a renter, storage might be a big concern. 
just want to show you guys how far this compacts what i did was just folded the acoustic panels kind of around and into themselves as far as it could go and i'm going to step back from the mic so i can show you this on camera side view this view and kind of a 360 uh audio extra so yeah i am really really for 50 dollars. i think this was a uh, great purchase if i'm doing stuff like voiceover narration for my videos if i ever get into audiobook narration or something of that nature uh, i can imagine this would be great negatives from my perspective for this product is that with a fixed desktop stand you can't choose your height uh, which is negative and secondly regarding uh, portability and travel it's a big chunky thing of of good metal which does mean it's got good quality construction but also that it's much less portable i definitely wouldn't bring that in my suitcase it would just take up way too much weight that i couldn't justify so i'm sure there might be probably more lightweight um acoustic booth systems out there on the market nevertheless really happy to buy this hope this video was interesting if you do want to get more videos from me regarding tech audio video marketing linux i could go on it's a very mixed youtube channel hit the subscribe button thank you guys for watching have a great day